Video marketing is not just about YouTube anymore. And if you want to get great exposure that turns into traffic, leads, and sales, then you need to make videos for every social media platform. I'm going to show you a major shortcut in this full tutorial. So stick around. It's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video, your coach for the marketing and business of online video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel now for weekly tips. Today I want to introduce you to my friend Gord Iceman. Gord is an editing master. He knows all sorts of shortcuts and workarounds and today I'm going to bring him in to share with you the process for making really short, snappy social media videos. So without further ado, Gord, take it away. Owen, air five to you buddy. And thanks for that nice welcome and having me on your show. I'm Gord Eisman, I'm a Camtasia specialist, and I make tutorials on editing and lots more on how to create awesome video for your business. At your leisure, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very cool micro content video for your business. And we're going to make that happen with Camtasia. Let's dive in. We're inside Camtasia now and let's take a look at the 17 second video commercial that we're going to look at in more depth. Wow, there's a lot going on there. Let's see how we execute inside Camtasia. First off, you want to set your canvas dimensions to 1080p by 1080p. As you can see, I've done that here in the custom setup. There are all kinds of other dimensions, but for social video and for this kind of product that we're doing today, you want to have 1080p by 1080p so that you can get the greatest usage out of the real estate on the screen, for especially when people consume things through social feeds, where Square Video is where it's at. You can see here now, we're already using that, and if we were to bring in our video clip, that it fits nicely in the middle, then it's a 16 by 9 clip. Alternatively, you could create overlays outside in something like uh, PNG files and have transparent overlays and it can add just another added flare touch to what you're looking at. So that's how you can look at options for creating your borders and structure for square video. Next, you need to grab the viewer's attention and hook them right away. Look how we do it here. Right away, within the first second, not only do you have an action clip started, but you also have the text on display. It's so critical that you do this immediately because in social, the feeds are on autoplay and oftentimes people have the sound off, so you need to grab them immediately. Now, these are ultra short videos and you can usually shoot the footage that you need with your smartphone. You know, of course, this assumes that for the storyboard that you have, you're able to create something unique and on point. And that way, if you can do it, you're, you're done very quickly in terms of getting what you need to produce an end product. Hey, Gord, let me stop you right there. You know, this is great that you filmed these clips with your own camera, but some companies, they're going to want to use higher quality stock footage. Uh, is that a problem? What are your thoughts? I say that's no problem. That works. You can get high quality stock footage from sites like videoblocks.com, videohive.net, and many others. And that's a great point, Owen. Thank you. You got it. Owen. Yeah, Gord. No more interruptions. Next, I needed to edit the footage to get it down to a 17 second time frame. As you can see, the original clip here is quite long. It's actually over a minute, but that netted down to just three clips here, totaling a total length of 17 seconds. I achieved that a few ways. One way was by splitting the clips, as you can see here, where we transition from one clip to the other. I quickly, you know, nicely cut into the action points and I did another point here just before going to the call to action when I finished and then got myself up. So that's cutting and editing to help uh, trim the length and then I also used the Camtasia's clip speed feature. As you can see here, it's 2.28 times the original speed. To apply clip speed, you just have to drag it on to whatever clip you want and then, then you just adjust the short to shorten or lengthen accordingly. So this is very powerful and it helped me to get a nice, confined, tight timeline with action that, that just worked nicely. 
Next, I wanted to bring to life the text, and there's only a few lines of text that are required to get the message across in this short 17 seconds. As you can see, I've used text annotations, and I've nicely color matched them with the video clip here and chosen nice big fonts that show beautifully. But in addition, I wanted there to be, you know, a degree of animation that would keep the people interested and, and attracted to staying through the clip to watch it through to completion. So it was very important that I use Camtasia 9's new feature called Behaviors. And as you can see in this one, I've used something called Shifting. And each, each behavior has what's called an in, a during, and an out element to their behavior. And these parameters are highly tunable. You can play with the, the effects at each level and then and adjust various properties as well as in the out. So as you can see here in this one here, we come in and it, it comes down from above and then it's actually shifting and moving as we go throughout. And then it has a certain kind of a fade, fade out at, at the end. So all of that is nicely controlled. The behaviors, here there are, there's nine of them. As you can see, there's a tool category called behaviors. And you to apply one, you just need to drag it and um, click and drag it right onto your clip. And it's that simple. You can even compound them for different effects. It's very powerful. So to keep engagement peaking throughout the experience, you need to be careful in terms of how you manage the timing of the text elements that come into play. As you can see, we started at one second right away to get some engagement going. And then at around the seven second mark, the next element of the text comes in. Of course, you need to factor in the length of text and the timing it takes for people to read. Then at around the 11 second mark, we built in a little pause. And then at the 13 second mark, we followed on to our call to action, which runs for about four seconds. And if you notice, a cool tip is that we used what's called the blur effect and a shape that was black. And we put in an opacity down to about 60%. So you can see this helped us make the branding in the, and, or image, and in this case it's a picture of Owen, stand out a little better, which helps in the overall impact of how the closeout or the call to action shows in the video. There you are, Owen, a 17 second video. Micro content is where it's at. You can create these short videos for video marketing, social memes, branding, Facebook, Instagram and more. It's all done with a simple formula. A nice attention grabbing intro with the engaging footage and text, a center core message, followed by a call to action, and you're done. I can make these pretty quickly with the awesomeness of Camtasia and just a little know-how. Thanks everybody. It's Gord and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today and don't forget to check out the entire playlist. Stick around, more videos coming. We'll see you next time.